In this tutorial video, we will be working with driver schedules and chronos in three steps. Number one, set up the schedule templates. Number two, generate weekly schedules. And number three, we can post and unpost the schedules once they're ready. From the main menu, we're going to go here to the upper left hand corner to the show menu. We're going to select the admin tab, scheduler setup, and select schedule templates. We're going to select this contract here, 640HG, and we're going to go to the first column here where it says view by employee. Now when you start working with the template, you want to select the two options on top, show open shifts, and here where it says lock time frame. You want to be able to view the open shifts if there are any, and you want to lock the time frame because you don't want to edit the hours for these shifts as you're assigning them to the driver. Now before you go any further, you can go where it says settings and you can save this setting. You can call it whatever you like and you want to make sure that it's listed as your default setting and that it's set to run immediately. What this will do is it will already save that setting where lock time frame and show open shifts are already selected every time you go to work with your schedule or your schedule template. Now as you can see here, some of these shifts have already been assigned and I'm going to try and expand this here so you can see the other open shifts. And there are two basic ways to assign the shifts. The first one is to select the shift and just drag and drop it next to the driver's name. So those two shifts have been assigned. The other way is just to simply select the shift and say assign employee and you'll get a list of employees and then you can select from that list so right here I can hit this little select employee plus sign and that will be assigned same thing with this one assign employee and select someone here alright now if you scroll down to the bottom of the page you'll see that it's letting you know all the shifts have been assigned if you want to unassign a shift, you can reverse the process. So you can select this and just drag it back up here to the open shifts. You can also click on the shift and unassign the employee. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see that it turns red, letting you know that there are unassigned shifts. Let's go ahead and reassign those shifts. All right, at this point, what you've done is you've set up your blueprint. The schedule template is the blueprint, and that allows you to generate schedules on a weekly basis that you can then edit and post and unpost. So we're done with the first part, which is the blueprint, which is the schedule template. We're going to go back to the previous menu. Now we're going to select this icon to generate a schedule. It's going to ask you if you want to do that, confirm that, and now you have to select a start date for this schedule. And again, this is done on a weekly basis, so we're going to select that icon uh, in the box there. And what we're suggesting is that you start on Sunday and just go from Sunday to Saturday to keep a consistent uh, situation there. So we're going to select the 10th and hit save. Okay. So this is the point at which you've generated a schedule for that particular week. Uh, so the final step is to check that there are no changes that are needed and then we can post the schedule at which time the drivers can see what shifts have been assigned to them. So we're going to go to the show menu here, team tab and here where it says schedule we're going to expand that and go to advanced scheduling and we're going to select schedule here 
So as you can see, this is the schedule that we've generated for the week uh, starting on the 10th. And we can go to the first column and view by employee. This is the actual schedule that we're going to post. So you can um, search through here and make sure that this is exactly the way you need it to be. As you can see, show open shifts and lock time frame are already selected. If you needed to make changes, you could do so. So if you want to change this to another uh, driver, you can. And once you've made whatever changes are necessary, you can post the schedule. At this point, when your drivers log into Kronos, they'll be able to see what shifts have been assigned to them. If at a later point in time you need to make a change, you can go ahead and do so. What you would do is you would unpost the schedule, make whatever changes are necessary, and once you're done, you can repost the schedule again.